Hey gang. Well, the Highway 10 yard sale for 2022, at least the April edition, is over with. And I gotta tell you, in all honesty, there were a lot of moments that, well, nothing too crazy. But I will say this much this was probably one of the most frustrating yard sales we've ever had. And, and I wanna tell you guys about it because. Yeah, I feel like sometimes when I tell you guys about, you know, some of these yard sales, it's like, you know, people show up, people buy money, blah, blah, you know, but, but if nothing too crazy happens, I'm like, eh, there's no point in telling them because why do they want to sit there and listen to, you know, like, uh, a dozen people showed up at once, bought up, bought up a bunch of stuff, you know, I mean, you guys want to hear about the crazy stuff, but unfortunately this time, this was frustration, and so, you know, last week, Last Monday, I got all the tables set up because I was planning on doing, uh, you know, get everything out here on Tuesday and Wednesday and try to start everything on Thursday because the Highway 10 yard sale started this past Friday. So I thought, start everything on Thursday, go to Friday, go to Saturday, everything's fine. Unfortunately, rain came in last week, kind of washed all the plans out. And, you know, it was, it was just putting a big halt to everything, of course. Luckily, around Thursday, I was able to get everything out here as quick as possible. Didn't get much sleep, but, you know, there's no rest for the for the idiots, so, uh, you know. Um, so, get out here before 9 o'clock on Friday, and we get customers galore. Um, and there's this one guy who shows up. Now, now I'll be honest with you, the first set of customers that showed up, I didn't really recognize them too well. Uh, a couple of older ladies showed up here, and they said they've been here before, and I'm like, okay, cool deal. And, you know, they bought stuff. And uh, I think it was about around 9.30 is when the chaos started to started to begin, I guess you could say. And that's kind of a, you know, yeah, one of those things. Anyway, uh, but no, so, so what happened was basically um, this guy shows up, and he's talking to the two older ladies and telling them about a yard sale he's having in Paris. And I'm just like, dude, I can hear you, <laughs> you know, and, and they're, they're just like, oh, that's nice and everything like that. And, you know, they, like, so they bought stuff, took off. He didn't buy anything. He just looks at me he's like, like, have a good day. And I'm like, yeah, bite me. And, like, and, and, you know, as far as usual customers go, if I were to say 40 people showed up, I'd say maybe six or eight of them were usual customers, which was really weird because... There were people who showed up here from Havana, Greenwood, and, and all sorts of other different places, which was kind of cool, you know? Because usually that does happen with the Highway 10 Yard so You know, people come in from all kinds of different places. And sometimes it happens with a regular yard sale, too. You know, you want these people to come back every month, and you hope they do. But, uh, so, frustration part one happened with, well... That, that little brown spot out there. Friday, there were a lot of drive-bys. Of course, you know, people drove through, you know, this part here and everything like that. I didn't let it bother me. Like, eh, I don't care, you know, let them, let them do whatever they want. But Friday is when it really all started because there were people just would just drive through this, this area right here. And it happened quite a few times. And it got so frustrating. I was telling, you know, Reno and his buddy Jesse... You know, man, I just want to throw rocks at these people. I didn't, of course, you know, and, and, but they were telling me, he's like, dude, if you do that, you're probably going to get in trouble. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I said, but I'm just saying, I'd like to, but I'm not going to. Saturday rolls around, same thing happens, barely get open, people start showing up, and it's, it's great, and it's awesome, make some good money. And unfortunately, on Saturday, there were more people who drove through that area right there. I, I lost count how many there were. But... There was somebody, there were two cars that showed up right over there by that, by, by this tree right here. You know, one parked there, one parked right there. They were both, they were driving very nice looking cars. One of the women gets out, barely looks at anything on my side, goes back, tells her friend something, and then they just take off out of here. That was the part that we didn't get over for a while. You know, we were just wanting to punch walls and just everything. I mean, we, and even Reno's buddy Jesse, who's usually a pretty laid-back dude, even he was mad. Even he was like, you know, that's that's nonsense and everything like that. There was actually one time 
um, and don't say it, band camp. <laughs> uh, one gray truck drives through this part right here, slowly looks and stuff, looks, and, and then what happens? Takes off, like, extra fast onto the highway. Like, he got away with something. It's like, no, you're just an idiot. So, yeah, so uh, Sunday, everything went well. You know, had a, had a few customers. Uh, one of them was a usual customer who usually likes to buy tubs, and he, he got a couple of tubs. So we're hoping everything's going to go well for next month. We're going to try to do it again next month and see what happens. And if anything interesting happens, I'll tell you about it sometime in May. But uh, got, to, got to get a lot of work done around here for the next... Uh, oh, there's my truck. Give me my truck back. Give me my truck. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so there's got to be a lot of things to get done next few weeks. So, uh, so yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, very frustrating yard sale, but still pretty fun. Good times. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Let's stop trying to destroy the world. Let's help others who really, really need it right now. Let's keep praying this virus nonsense is going to come to an end very, 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 very soon. And whether or not you believe in God, he believes in you. If you would, help a fellow YouTuber reach 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 500 myself. And uh, any goals you want to try to achieve in life, hope you get there and get there soon. As long as it's legal, nobody gets hurt, especially yourself. And always remember, you're here for a reason, but if you weren't here, you would be missed. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. Try to be good to others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong and rock on.